Hello deal hunters, so much is happening in deals world in the news that I wanted to make a video just going through all of the key stories because there's so much to keep up on and I thought it'd be good to share it with you. So starting off with this one, this is a story by Levy Winchester and it's about M&S and how Sparks is changing to be similar to Tesco Club Card and Sainsbury's Nectar. So Tesco was the first one to do it where you get reduced prices with Club Card, then Sainsbury's copied it with Nectar. So now you see the labels, you get cheaper prices with Nectar. Well, guess what? M&S Sparks Card is doing the same thing. So M&S is piloting cheaper prices for its Sparks members in a move similar to Tesco and Sainsbury's. Lower prices are being trialled for the next two weeks in 49 food halls in South Wales, the West Midlands and the North East of England. So if you start to see it, please do take a photo, share it with us on the latest deals app. There's a chat section and you can post it. So it'll be really interesting to see. And they've got an example here. So the deluxe family dining offer is reduced to £13 down from £15 or the Barbecue Heroes meal deal reduced to £10 instead of £12. So not massive savings, but at the moment, I feel like every little helps. And it does seem that all the loyalty programmes are following this move. They've probably seen that Tesco Club Card has been really successful and they're just copying it. But I would just say you do need to watch out because these offers do tend to be on the more expensive branded items. You don't really see them for the cheaper home brand alternatives. Next is big news at Aldi, and this is about their special buys. As you can see here, Aidan Millen at Metro is reporting on it. They are no longer going to sell them online for home delivery. Soon, as it says here, Aldi will no longer sell special buys for home delivery. Next up is Asda. This is a great deal. So Asda has changed a deal in its cafe and parents will love it for the summer holidays, says Laura Perkis at The Sun. And this is half price adult meals from 3 p.m. every day. The deal will run from 30th of June until September 4th. So alongside with half price adult meals, though, will be the kids eat for one pound. That has happened before and they're adding another five months to this uh, to the end of the year to help with cash strapped mum and dads. Now, I think that's great. The kids meal I know is super popular. They launched that back in June 2022 and now it's been extended. It used to just be on half terms. Now it's all the time, which is great. And to have uh, adult meals half price as well brilliant from 3 p.m. onwards. Next up is a great money saving tip for anyone who travels at London Heathrow. The popular app Too Good To Go, that's the food waste app where you can order magic bags of food from places like Greg's and Costa and Pret. Well, guess what? You can now get those at Heathrow Airport past security. It only works at night because usually you need to collect the items, right? varies between the shop but from about 7 p.m to 11 30 p.m and at Greg's there's Costa, Pret-a-Manger, Starbucks, Cafe Nero, any more than that and M&S so you can order it in advance on the day and collect it. I think that's brilliant and you get about 10 pounds worth of food for three pounds and it's so good if it's uh, a nighttime flight because you know how expensive airport cafes and restaurants are so this one here, Starbucks, it's $4.99, bit more expensive, but the bag should contain £15 worth of stuff, including wraps, paninis, salads and pastries. And this one can be collected between 1.30pm and 2pm. So that's good for a kind of late afternoon flight. Now, I tried this and on the Too Good To Go app, you can't just type in Heathrow as a location. It doesn't come up. Instead, you have to press the map and you've got to move the map to find Heathrow, zoom in, and then you can see the options. Next story, this is about anyone who has Tesco Mobile. This is a great little loophole. I didn't know Tesco Mobile has a family plan where you can add up to five people to get unlimited data. One user has to buy the plan, £30 a month, and then each person you add becomes an extra £10 a month. This is for unlimited data, unlimited calls, unlimited texts. But if you add people, it obviously reduces the price per person. So here it says, 
it means the deal reduces to £20 a month each for two, £16.67 a month each for three, and £15 a month each for four. The maximum, so it will hit £14 a month each for a maximum of five people who sh who pay an equal share of the total £70 bill. So you can get unlimited broadband, unlimited data, unlimited calls, unlimited text for five people for £14 a month each. That works out really well. Next tip or next piece of news, this is a study on which very interesting and they asked is shopping with a tesco club card cheaper than going to aldi or lidl with all its deals this is by ellie simmons and let me reveal the answer it's no it's not it still works out cheaper oh, i can't can i open this yeah it still works out cheaper to go to aldi and lidl and buy their own home brand stuff than it does with tesco so here you can see they checked the prices of 40 popular grocery items and aldi 68 60 i don't quite know how they compared this because it says like heinz baked beans well aldi doesn't sell heinz baked beans lidl 70 pounds tesco with club card 72 pounds so it was still four pounds cheaper to go to aldi than it was to shop at tesco with club card next up at aldi new dupe for you new beauty dupe uh people are going crazy i've seen this a lot on tiktok this is for a new perfume so this is liqueur's devotion eau de perfume 100 ml bottle which is said to be a dupe for the iconic dior j'adore uh, perfume which can set you back up to 116 pounds so you can see them here can i make this bigger no. So you can see them here, there's a new range of these liqueur perfumes and they're really cheap. And I've just seen lots of people on TikTok talking about this. Here you can see Holly Lavender revealing it. Here's this one, Devotion, and there's the three together. I love Aldi dupes and I know that's going to be really popular. On the flip side, people are going crazy on social media because they've seen that Colgate Max White Ultra is now £10 at Tesco. £10 for toothpaste you gotta your teeth should be gleaming like diamonds if you're using 10 pound toothpaste i just thought that was funny and i wanted to share it there little says they're going to freeze the cost of soup um school uniform five pounds it's always been five pounds they're saying next no, stay five pounds i believe aldi still five pounds as well and this will involve bundle options including the smart start kids polo shirts two pack one pound 75 smart start kids sweatshirt one pound 50 school trousers skirt or shorts one pound 75 so the special offer is running for the second year in a row will be available until stocks last in stores from july the 6th a few more stories left and the first one's about morrison's i don't know what to make of this so as you know at morrison's uh, this is the ceo of morrison's all the supermarket chains have been in a bit of trouble recently uh, being asked by the government, are they profiteering from inflation? Because supermarket prices are just going crazy and it's like WTF, why? And so they've been questioned by the government. And this is the CEO, David Potts, being questioned by the government. And, you know, I feel like he gave away, maybe it was under pressure or something, but he announced that Morrison's will put some of its home brand products into the smaller convenience stores. So Morrison's has been extending the number of local small stores across the country. They want to have a thousand by the end of the year. And he said, oh, look, we're going to put some of our cheaper brand items in there to help people. In quote marks, a few of its products from its savers range to the daily store shelves. He didn't specify when or how many, and currently there are 240 products. And he said, a few. I feel like that was like throwing the dog a little scrap. Um, but you know, every little helps. I always say don't shop at these local stores because they are more expensive. They don't have these cheaper, cheaper brand items. But you know, if they do, let's be optimistic. If they do roll out more of the savers range, that will help people who do shop there. Tesco, meanwhile, is slashing the price of 500 everyday products. And here's a list of stuff. So they say that prices have been cut by an average of 13%. And they've got a list of things here. Tesco tin tuna down 10p to 80p. Three pack of peppers down 15p to £1.65. We've got block cheddar down 20p, four pint of milk, down 10p. We'll come back to that because Aldi's copied it. Tesco red grapes down 20p. Fusilli pasta down 5p. Free from pasta 45p. Easy cook long grain rice 
reduced 35p, strawberry raspberry jam reduced 16p, tie top bin bags reduced 25p, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries and mango reduced 25p, frozen cod fillets down 25p and orange juice with bits from concentrate down 20p. This story is on the mirror, you can have a look, this is by Levy Winchester again and it's really interesting right because the prices are being reduced the way that Tesco is shouting about it, you know, it's going back to where it was, I, I don't know, what, six months ago, a year ago? It's still expensive compared to two years ago, but prices do seem to be coming down, which is a good thing. I can't tell whether, you know, are they putting prices down on some things, keeping them up on others? Will these go down and stay down? That's the important thing. What isn't clear is like, are these just being reduced for six weeks and then they come back up again? Because if they are, then that's just like a normal deal and it doesn't really help with the inflation that everyone's feeling. I said we'll come back to the milk. That's because Aldi has also cut the price of its milk by up to 10p. So same as Tesco, a four pint bottle of milk will be reduced 10p from £1.55 to £1.45. Now to compare that to Tesco, it's also £1.45. So Tesco and Aldi, same price for milk. And my final thing, we'll leave you here because it's quite funny. Aldi shoppers excited by five pound dupe that rivals trendy bum bum cream worth 48 pounds. I just wanted to say bum bum on YouTube. This is by Rachel Williams, a shopping writer at the Daily Record. And here you can see Aldi's new summer touch booty balm. So uh, yeah, it's been hailed a dupe for the trendy bum bum cream by the luxe brand Sol de Janeiro. Aldi's budget skincare must have just 4 dollars uh, whereas the other one costs 48 pounds from Look Fantastic. So you can save 43 pounds by heading to Aldi. Let me know, would you try Summer Touch Booty Balm? I don't want to see any pictures, but let me know in the comments. Deal Hunters, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is quite a new format for me. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you want me to do another one. I follow the deals news all day. I'm kind of obsessed. So if this kind of roundup of news is helpful in any way, uh, please let me know. Please, honestly, put it in the comments. Give me a shout. Any questions, let me know. And deal hunters, I'll see you in the next one.